Good evening, guys. Welcome to class. Um, this is a reading session, um, and it's about kind of kind of like product placement. Yes. Yeah? So uh, we're going to have a look at an article about um, films and TV shows which try to get money uh, from advertising because uh, basically that people are illegally downloading films and things like this. Yes. Yeah? So they found an innovative way to create money. It's not just product placement, which has been around for for several years, but it's actually digitally including the adverts. Yes, we're going to read this, we're going to discuss this, and we're going to talk about ultimately if it's, uh, it's, if it's a good tactic for them to, to use and things. Okay, so, uh, good evening Mira, good evening Nicholas, good evening Hector, and that's it. Okay, so hopefully you guys can all join us, but in the chat, in the hangout, we've got Bursu, can you hear us? Berka, Berku? Burju. How do I say, sorry? Burju. Burju. Yeah, you can call me Burku, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay, so nice to meet you. Where do you come from? Uh, I'm from Turkey. Perfect. Which part? Istanbul. Istanbul, great. Okay, so nice, nice to meet you. Um, do you... Okay, we're going to talk about films and things like this. Um, and we're going to ask the question, do we pay to watch films? Yeah, so have a little think. We'll come back to you. Um, but Jean is back again. Jean? Ah, uh, okay, I have a problem. Okay, I can hear you. Can you hear us? Yes, yes. Perfect. I can hear you. Perfect, right. Jean. Okay, so good evening. How are you this evening? Oh, well, and you? Not Very too bad. well, and you? Not too bad, thank you for asking. Not too okay. Bad. So, how Thanks. was your day? Oh, uh, it was a good day. Uh, um, the weather is bad. Uh, the wind is uh, blowing uh, a lot. Very yeah. strong. Yeah. Okay, so the wind was not so good. Yes. Yeah? So apart from the wind, it was okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, so good to good to speak with you again, Sean. Okay, we also have Aileen. How are you? Fine, and you? Not too bad, thank you. Good to speak with you, Aileen. It's the first time we've spoken, I think, right? Yes, this is the first time. Perfect, okay. And where are you from? I'm from Turkey. Cool, okay. We've got two people so far from Turkey. We've got Bert, I can't say it. Bert, Bert, Bert. Pardon? We've got uh, Bersu or Baku, Baku, but also from Turkey. Okay, which part of Turkey do you come from, Aileen? Okay. Which part of Turkey? What's your city? Istanbul. Istanbul. Great. Okay. So, um, so was Burka, I think. Okay. And we have NS. Can you hear me? Uh, pardon, I can't understand. No worries. We also have a guy called NS. NS, can you hear me? Yes, yes. I hear NS. But I, I'm from okay. uh, Izmir. You know Izmir? No, 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 I'm not, not familiar. Izmir, yeah? So, okay, that's cool. Um, okay, I can't hear. There's another guy called Ines or something, but I can't hear him. Just check your mic. We have Evgenia. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Good to speak <laughs> with you again, Evgenia. Mm, me cool. too. Okay, and we also have Hector. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Not too bad. We've spoken before, I'm sure. Yeah, I think we have spoken before. Yeah, sorry, okay. could you repeat? I, I uh, don't... Have, have we spoken before? Uh, I don't think so. I, okay, I think so uh, uh, t today is my, my first time with you. Okay, perfect, Hector. So where, where do you come from? Uh, I, I was born in Venezuela, but I, I live in, in Amsterdam, Holland. Yeah, we have spoken, we have spoken, I remember. Where, uh, when? <laughs> we, we spoke, I remember hearing this, yes? Yeah? So you're in Amsterdam, yeah? So a couple of days ago, I think, yeah? But that's cool. Okay, <laughs> and Hernan, we have definitely spoken before. Hi, yes. Yes, we have. 
Okay, good to speak to you again, Hannah. Good to speak to you again. And Nicholas, we have definitely spoken as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Perfect. Cool. Okay, good to speak to you again. And Talita, we spoke for the first time earlier, I think, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, so most of you are familiar um, to me, so welcome. Um, in this session, it's going to be a reading session. So we're going to talk about an article. Uh, the article I've sent you, did I send it? No, I haven't sent it yet. I'll just send it to you now. We're going to read this together, talk about the words, and also discuss it. Yeah, but a big thing. But my first question for you guys is, if you were to watch a film, would you pay for this? Okay, so be honest, guys. It's okay. No one's going to arrest you. But Aileen, yeah. do you pay to watch films? Pardon, when? Okay. I can't hear you. Okay. Um, is it a sound problem? Some other people yes. had some difficulties hearing me. Yes, Get there's, you. there is a sound problem, teacher. Okay. I hear you properly. Okay, one second. Um, Nicholas, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, let me see. Okay, so, Aylan, I was just saying, when you watch films, when you watch a film, would you pay for this? Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. Second, I'll ask Aileen first. One second. Aileen, can you hear me? Aileen. No, it's it's cutting. No worries. Okay. I'll go in that case to Berku. Yeah, Berku, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Okay, so Berku, uh, do you pay to watch films? Yes, I do, of course. <laughs> okay, you're, okay, that's interesting. Ennis. Ennis, I haven't been able to hear you just yet. Could you just take your mic and come back? Okay. In fact, I hear something from you. Ennis? Ines? Maybe I'm saying your name wrong. Yeah, Katas. Ines Katas. That's your profile name. Can you hear? Okay. Genia. Okay. Evgenia, do you yeah. pay for movies when you watch them? No. Never. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, here's an example. Okay, and why and why don't you pay for them? Mm, it depends, actually. If I go to a movie, I have to pay. I I have no way. But well, you if... don't. You can sneak in through the back. Yes. <laughs> if I uh, watching, if I'm watching film at home, of course I don't because I watch it through internet. For example, we have some uh, network, social network, Kontakte, and a lot yeah. of films there, you know. Okay, yeah, so there's a database you can access, access them quite easily for free. Okay, yeah. so, Hector, what would you say? Do you pay for films? Mm, yes, yes, I do, I do. Actually, I, I was paid for, for The Walking Dead, you know, The Walking Dead. Yeah. Is is a series and and I I've paid for for it buying in iTunes. Yep. So, so expensive by the money. way. Do you always pay? Yeah, so okay there's a background noise I'm I'm sensing, but do you always pay for films? Uh, always no. Always no. Sometimes. Okay, what what would make you decide to pay for a film or not? Uh, for uh, for example, I I I seen The Walking Dead the the first time. Yep. Uh, so I I like I like it. So the second and the third season, I I bought I bought. But it's, yep. it's, it's difficult to pay before to watch some some episode or, or some I don't know. Okay, but some, why would some you chapter? This, okay, why did you, you know this illegally? Why didn't you? Hello? Why did you pay for it? So, uh, Hector, why did you pay for it? What made you pay for it? Uh, because you said sometimes you download things illegally, but what made you pay for this one? Uh, because I I think 
uh, if the movie I like so much, uh, the, the, if I pay, the quality was, was better or was higher. Okay, so you pay because of quality. And also, yeah, yes. That's, so you pay because maybe the the copy that you get um, that you download when you pay for it is is usually of high quality. Okay, that's, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Hernan, what about you? Yeah, I usually pay to watch movies or films. Okay, yeah. So do you ever download things illegally? Well, uh, sometimes I I go through websites. They are free. Some movies, like the old ones. That's yeah. the that's the only situation when I don't pay for to watch. Okay, so if you can access some them on the internet for free and things, yeah, if there's some websites. Um, Jean. Oh, uh, um, I don't uh, I don't download uh, any uh, movie because it's uh, illegal. I go out uh, to the cinema to see a movie, uh, depending on. Uh, uh, in the morning uh, or in the ev in the evening. Okay, so you go to the cinema, but if oh, yeah. it was legal, Jean, if it yeah. was completely legal, would you it, still pay to go to the cinema? Um, it's illegal to download a movie from internet because but if it was if it was legal, yeah. So is it different watching a movie at home? Compared with going to the cinema, do you think? Uh, uh, because uh, um, in France um, there's a, a, a law. Okay. Oh, because of law and things. But okay. if, for example, if yes, yeah, so if it was legal to download movies for free. Would you still pay to go to the cinema? No, I would. I would rather to go out. Okay, that's that's what I was going to ask. Yeah, so you'd rather yeah. go to the cinema for the experience. Yeah, so for the yeah, okay. Okay, that's cool. Okay, and Nicholas, what would you say? Yeah. Um, well, uh, I often go to the pictures, and then I. Uh, Pay for it, and I really enjoy. And I don't mind paying for for a movie uh, when I want to see it because I love going to the cinema. Uh, but for instance, when I have to just see, sometimes I see series or movies just because I have to uh, have listenings in English, so I just see it on the web. But I don't load, don't load anything. And I, for instance, I when I have to see a series like uh, Game of Thrones or Walking Dead is like uh, I, I watch them from Serialis and and, and uh, well websites, uh, but I don't love them. Uh, but to really be honest, to be really honest, sorry, uh, honest, yeah. yeah, I have I have downloaded when I was younger and some days ago. Uh, full DVDs, you know. <laughs> I have done. Okay, and, <laughs> and did you do you now pay for them because of ethical reasons, as in because you want to, you you want to pay for them, you feel you should pay for them, or do you uh, pay for them because of another reason? It has to like me a lot if I have if I pay for a to pay for a for a series. For instance, I would I would love really love to uh, to buy. Game of Thrones. It's really okay. good for me. So uh, you don't mind paying when you really like it, when it has a big impact on you. Exactly. If it has a big impact on you, then you, you, would, you would pay for it. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, Talito, what would you say? And this is your cat. Cool. Yes, my baby. Nice. Yeah, okay. We spoke, yeah, we spoke earlier in the cat class. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's, that's what I was trying to remember which class it was. Okay, I, so I Talito. Showed, I showed the, the youngest. Cat. And this, this is, is the oldest cat. Okay, so Talita um, was showing Talita's from Brazil, and we had a cat class earlier, um, and she was showing us her, her cat. But Talita, do you like to pay for movies? Yes, but here in Brazil, is 
very expensive to to go to cinema and pay to watch some films is um, twenty two reais. It's like ten dollars or something like that. So the thing is, yeah, you think, okay, well, if you can get it online for free, then that's ten dollars saved. Yeah. So okay, that's I think that's the general mentality. Lots of people think that. Yeah, around around the world and things. Uh, but okay, so we're going to read an article in which they talk about a new way of these companies, these film companies, making money because they're they're losing a lot of money with people downloading the films illegally and not not paying either in the cinema or for the DVD. So we're going to read an article about a new um, way of generating money that the, the companies have come up with, and we're going to discuss this. Okay. So I put it at the beginning, I think, in verbing. No, I didn't. I can't remember. Okay, I'll attach it again into the verbing chat box. You could all open this, and in the meantime, I'll share my screen with you as well. And we'll start reading this. Okay. So, have you all managed to open the website that I've just sent you? I did. Cool. Perfect. Okay. So, um, who would like to make a start reading? Me. Yes, please. So, <laughs> who, who said hello? Who who said they would like to read? Who said so? I can't remember. Okay, let's go for Nicholas. Nicholas, would you like to read? Of course. Um, well, digital product placement creates adverse out of thin air. Oh my god, stop. Uh, now you see it. Spot anything out of place? No? Look more closely at the bus shelter. The structure and other were added in post-production. Uh, one of the okay. great yeah. Have a look quickly at this this picture. Yes. Yeah? So now you see it spot anything out of place. Now look more closely. So can you see anything odd about this picture? Anything so odd? Far. Okay. If we scroll down, for example, I think I saw this earlier. Okay. If you scroll down at this picture, look at the bus shelter. Hold on a second. If you see my, my screen, if you scroll yeah. down, there's another picture. Okay, that's the original, and now this is the, the new one. Can you see the difference? Yeah, guys? No. <laughs> okay, the difference is here, for example, if you look at the bus shelter, the bus shelter is empty here. A woman. It's a really old structure. Not, not the woman, not the woman, but behind the woman. Look at the, the bus shelter here, and then look at the one at the top. Can you see? Where? Yeah. Show with your mouse. Okay, so here is the the post production, after production. But if you look at the picture down here, this is the original. Can you see? Uh huh. There's no advertisement in the oh, second yeah. picture. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so in the second, in the original. The, the bus shelter looks different, as in older, and there's no advert. Yeah, um, So they added this in, they edited this in to sell this advert to a company. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so in that case, let's talk about it because that's what it's going to be, that's what it's talking about in this article. That um, companies now are trying to think of ways to generate money because people are downloading things illegally, people are watching it for free. And this is one strategy they have. And they do not watch uh, publicity on TV. Yeah, because people don't watch publicity as well. People are not interested in watching the adverts anymore. Okay, so let's um, talk about this. Um, okay, would you like to continue reading? Oh, who is it? Nicholas. Yeah. Uh, one of the great dilemmas facing the TV and film industry is just how to make money out of a cheapskate audience. Uh, who are often not wa willing to pay for programming or watch adverts. Viewers have many more options than just nipping off for a cup of tea during ad breaks these days. Uh, they can re record 
programs and then skip the adverts or far too or far too often simply download them illegally. Okay, so uh, yeah. Um, okay, Talita needs to go, no worries. I'll just read um, some messages. Uh, all I can see is an error occurred on the screen, Johan. Uh, maybe you can't access the, I'm not sure if you can access the, the, the file at the, the website. What are you doing here? So sorry to ask this, but it's because I'm joking. Okay, <laughs> Ennis doesn't like English. <laughs> Don't attend an English class and that might help. <laughs> okay, so um, anyway, yeah, okay. So uh, one of the great dilemmas facing the TV and film industry, yeah? So what is a dilemma? Question. Yeah, it's a big problem, yeah? So one yes. of the great dilemmas, one of the great problems that the TV uh, and film industry is facing is what, Igor? Is just how to make money. Yeah, is yeah. If no one, if no one pays to watch the the films or the TV shows, and if no one watches the advert, basically there's no possible way that these companies can make money to produce these these films, to produce these docu uh, documentaries, yes. or whatever. So therefore, they will go out of business, and there'll be no films in the world. Yeah. So uh, to stop this happening, they've thought of a new way, a new approach. Um, to make money out of a cheapskate audience, what is a cheapskate? What is what is a cheapskate? Cheapskate. Uh, greedy people like, I mean, like me. <laughs> um, <and okay>. me. <laughs> a cheapskate is basically uh, someone who doesn't like to, to spend money. Yeah, so um, doesn't like to spend waste money. Maybe yeah. So a cheapskate would buy the cheapest plane ticket, would buy the cheapest whatever, yeah? So that's a cheapskate. Economical. <laughs> Someone who's, yeah, that's a nice way of putting it, Igor. <laughs> okay, so not, not tight-fisted, yeah? So, well, a bit tight-fisted. Cheapskate, doesn't want to pay for things. Um, and it's true, they've noticed that this happens, so they're responding to it, yeah? So um, it's, it's human behavior, yeah? We want a good, we want a bargain. Okay, how to make money out of a cheapskate audience who are often not willing to pay for programming or watch adverts. Okay, that's quite clear. If you have any questions, just stop me at any point. But apart from that, let's go on. Yeah, um, Nibinov. What is the meaning of Nibinov? Uh, which one? Nibinov. It's, it's the nipping off. <laughs> okay, yeah, to nip off for a cup of tea. That means to go, uh, to not wait in the room to watch the adverts, but to, to leave off, to leave, to nip off and drink tea. As in, to go okay. away from the t TV set. Nipping yeah? off to, nip to off. go away? To nip off. Oh, I'm nipping off to the loo. It's like to pop, to pop over, to pop, to, to pop off, yes? No, to pop off is something different. Uh, to nip off is, oh, I have to nip off now. I have to go. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Very British term. I don't think they say this much in America, maybe. Okay, so to nip off for something, to nip off for a cup of tea, to go for that reason, to drink tea. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, there's as many options than just nipping off for a cup of tea during ad breaks these days. They can record programs and then skip the adverts, or far too often simply download them illegally. Okay, that was quite clear. Uh, who would like to go next? I'd like to. Yes, please. Banner ads and pop-ups online tend to be annoying and are often ignored. But if you, the viewer, won't watch adverts voluntarily, then beleaguered TV, movie, and advertising executives need to find a way of taking that choice away. Okay, this is a new word for me, beleaguered. Yeah, so uh, I guess this has something to do with league. But I've never heard that word before, okay? So, um, but if you, the viewer, won't watch adverts voluntarily, then beleaguered. Beleaguered. Does anyone have an idea what that could mean? Is it similar in your languages? I've never heard it before. My dictionary does not know these words. Okay, maybe it's made up then. <laughs> Wait, okay. Beleaguered. In word reference, I say, in word reference, it says that it means harassment. Harassment, okay. Yeah, harassment. I've never heard it. Okay, so then harassed TV, yeah, why are they harassed? Hmm. TV, movie, and advertising executives need to find a way of taking that choice away. Um, stumped, maybe. Not, no, that's something else. Yeah, it's when you don't know what to do with something, maybe, I'd say. But beleaguered, harassed TV, movie, 
They're harassed by the bad customers, maybe. I'm not sure. No, surrounded, I think. Sorry? Surrounded. Surrendered. Surrendered. I'm not sure if that makes sense. The surrendered. Um, yeah, harassed, I guess, basically, they, they have to deal with very difficult customers. They're trying to sell them products that they're not willing to buy, and it's causing them difficulty. It's causing, it's causing the TV movie into advertising executives difficulty. Uh, but beleaguered, never heard of it. You can choose whether or not you want to learn it. But yeah, to be honest, I would get, I would ignore that one. But it's up to you. Okay, so uh, an advertising executive. What is this? Advertising executive. Marketing specialist. Oh, yeah. Jean, do you know what an executive mm. is in general terms? An Who work? Yeah, but more specifically. Um. Specialist. Okay, not just uh, a chief, specialist. chief, chief manager. Like. Manager. So a, man, a, a chief or advertising de department. Yeah, the a, chief of the advertising. Yep. But who is specialist? What is the name for specialist? Uh, it depends. Name. You can say, for example. Okay, you can say executive to mean this thing, like sales executive, usually to make the position sound uh, more glamorous. Yeah, so you hear, see this a lot, accounts executive, but an executive of a company is really uh, like the, the board of directors. So the, the chief executive, then you've got the um, sales uh, well, the sales director, that's kind of like an executive, someone in a, an important position within an organization. Okay. I thought that uh, executive is uh, yeah, so not just a simple LH1. position. Uh, more than a simple position. But executive now, before an executive would be someone in a really important position, now it's used a lot. I hear it a lot. Oh, I'm a sales executive when he's a salesman. Yeah. So I hear this a lot, but I think the meaning is going away. Yeah. So it's, it's being diluted a bit. But executive traditionally is someone who's in a powerful position. Now it's maybe everyone. It's called an executive. Like consultant, yeah? It's like this, yeah? Everyone's called a consultant of something. <laughs> yeah? I don't know if it's the same in your countries. Okay, so um, advertising executives need to find a way of taking that choice away, as in making people not watch, have to between uh, watch publicity. Yeah, as in enforce publicity on them. Mm. Okay, who would like to read next? I can read. Yes, please, if you I should one emerging. Yes, please. Yeah, from the one emerging technology that could be a solution is digital product placement. Of course, product placement isn't new. Pontiac would not have sold nearly as many trans arms if that had not been started. Hasselhoff's cream fighting car of choice in the 1980s phenomenon night reader night rider night rider night rider uh -huh. nicely read okay and product placement does everyone know what this is yes eagle what is it when the um, uh, producer of product or service they put uh, their product or service in uh, a movie, for example, or in a, uh, uh, in some um, television program, so you see this uh, product not like publicity, like uh, advertising, but you see this product like a, a take part in movie, uh, for example, uh, uh, someone call someone in that movie, and you see, for example, name of that uh, cell phone. Yeah, so it's a very clever way of um, getting us with. Yeah, it says here an example from Skyfall. There's lots in James Bond movies. Yeah, so uh, if you've seen Skyfall, there was like um, was it a VW Beetle or something at the beginning or something? Yeah, so they they were ad they basically advertised the products by using the products in the film. So people think, ah, oh, this is cool. James Bond is driving an Aston Martin. I want an Aston Martin. Yeah, so of course not, no one gets the Aston Martin, but it's this kind of. Uh, Getting the brand away in our in our heads. Okay, uh, one emerging technology. Okay, Igor is sick to death of this word. Bloody emerging. Yeah, you already know this several times. We we've talked about this, but for everyone else apart from Igor and anyone else who was in my classes maybe a couple of days ago, what does it mean? Emerging. So what does emerging mean? Something that is coming out like progressively. 
Like little yes. by little, like growing. Yes. So it's coming, it's emerging, it's creeping out. So it's emerging from, it, it, in this context, what was it? One sec. Uh, one it's emerging appear. technology. A technology that is slowly appearing, that's what it means, it's emerging. It's not there yet, it's not instant, it's not like one day there's no technology, the next day there is. It's emerging, it's, it's slowly being released. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, that could be a solution is digital product placement. Therefore, digital product placement is what... Enrique just joined, I won't ask him yet. Berku, yeah. are you following? Yeah, I'm following. Sorry. Okay, do you understand what digital product placement is? Um, digital product placement uh, is, I think, uh, we saw before uh, on the uh, bus shelter, they put something else uh, on the wall of the shelter. Yeah, so it's not a physical product. It. Yeah. They replace it with something else which they want to produce. Yeah, okay, so it's not that they're putting a physical car in, um, in the shot. They're actually maybe, I don't know, editing a car into it as well, yeah? So, something like that. You just, they're looking, they watch the film, I guess. They sit there and think, right, how can we add some adverts in here? Then the, the techie guys, the clever people add these things in, yeah? So that's really how it works, as I understand. I'm not sure. Um, quick opinion on this, yeah? So what do you think, Booker? 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 I'm trying to remember your real name. How is working or... Yeah, do you think it's a good idea and do you think it will yeah, work? It's clever, I think, because um, y you are seeing something and uh, your subliminal mind uh, is working at the same time and uh, you are catching the objects and stuff from the movie <laughs> while you don't uh, understand what's going on to you. Yeah, so you're not aware, so it's, it's subconscious. Um, but do you trust it? Berkey. No, I don't, but uh, it's working, obviously, because it's on everywhere. You can see uh, Apple logos on, on for, for all uh, movies. Okay, so, and it could be a revolutionary way of maybe in the future movies becoming free to watch, thanks to us cheapskates, yeah? So, yeah. it could be, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's fun. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, so, Enrique has just joined us, I think. Yes, how are, you, how are you today, Martin? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I am fine, thank God. Thank you for asking. No worries. Cool. Okay, so we're talking about um, product or digital product placement. Have you heard of it? Um, uh, it's a, um, a digital product placement, a, a product that sh is show, shown uh, on a movie. Okay, so it's a, a that's product placement. So if, for example, he drinks, I don't know, Smirnoff vodka, okay. then this means that um, people see this brand and think, oh, okay, I'll buy this. Or Coca-Cola is a common one. Okay. If you've ever seen American Idol or something like that, they they use Coca-Cola glasses. That's product placement. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, it was when you use a product, but digital product placement is is similar but you edit it in afterwards. So maybe in the real shot, you didn't have Coke, Coca-Cola bottles everywhere, but you edit these in, yeah? Mm. So for example, if it's an old film, an old film from 30 years ago, you can take that film and then add some products in there in post-production, in the post-production stage. Yeah? No, okay, okay. So digitally, okay. Not, not real. Genia, what do you think? For example, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, uh, what do you think about? Uh, yeah, do you think this is a good idea? Ah, product placement. Or digital, digital product placement. Ah, digital product placement. Mm, yeah, I think so. But before I, before I knew that it's product placement, I paid attention to this advertisement because I did not know. I thought it was cool. <laughs> and I was uh, very young, yep. yeah. And I, 
I wanted to buy something from Movie, but now I know. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So maybe it's, it depends on the, who the film is targeted at. Yeah, so the film is targeted. Yeah. Uh, yeah, older people, maybe we're more clued up on this than maybe five-year-olds or six-year-olds who see a really cool toy or something, yeah? So, I don't know. Um, but, Enrique, what were you going to say afterwards, sorry? Uh, yes, uh, for example, when you are watching a, a soccer game on TV and, and uh, an advertised uh, a bird is in the middle of, of the field, that's digital... For example, uh, uh, Coca-Cola in the middle of the field, of the court. But it doesn't interrupt the film. Yeah, it doesn't interrupt the film. They just no, add no. maybe maybe a logo. Yes, in the, of in the middle of the. Yes, in the middle of the of the. Or when the when the first half uh, ends. Oh, that's just that, that's normal commercial advertising. Yeah. So when the first um, half. Where the first half ends before the second half, usually there'll be adverts saying "drink Coca-Cola." Yeah, like magic yes, but, country. but appear in the middle of the field, not not uh, an advertisement. Uh, yeah, for example, the uh, the they could edit it so the footballer has a Coca-Cola logo on his on his shirt, for example. Whereas in the yes, yes. film, he didn't have this. Yeah, things like that. But do you like this idea, Enrique? If it made maybe films free... Yes, I, th I, I think it's, it's less invasive than, a, than an... Ad Sorry? You there? Okay, we'll come back to you, Enrique. I can't hear you. Um, but check this out. Okay, um, Marcia has just joined us. Hello. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Cool. Okay, yes, we're talking. Yeah. Oh, okay, so uh, Marcia, we're talking about digital product placement. Did you follow? And do you understand what this is? Digital product placement. Yes, I understand. Uh, so a way to disguise, to make more subtle the advertisement. Okay, to make the adverts more subtle, yeah? To make them more subtle. Um, yeah, so uh, basically they edit logos, edit um, adverts in the, into the post-production stage, yeah? So, uh, so you can see them afterwards. Um, do you trust this, Marcia? Um, um, it's um, less boring than the the long uh, interval, uh, commercial interval in, on the TV. Especially with ITV, yeah. So, do you watch ITV, Marcia? Um, I I I also um, I like also the the commercials because I can. Uh, um, learn some words, so okay. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> For you, it's okay. Yeah, to learn. For those who don't know, uh, Marcy is currently living in the UK. She's living in Wales. Um, but the adverts with ITV are particularly long. Yeah, so I think long. they increased it by seventy percent even. Yeah, so yes, yeah, so, yeah. But um, so you actually don't mind it because actually it's a good way of practicing your, yes. your sales. Yes, but English, yeah? it's worse than Italy than Switzerland. Here it's the longest. It's like you, you know, it's longer than the actual TV shows. Yeah. <laughs> not not quite though. But um, Igor, what do you say? So um, do you think it's a good idea? Would you welcome it? Yes, it's a very good idea. You uh, companies will can sell more products and the uh, publicity will be uh, more effective. And maybe we don't have to watch these uh, commercial breaks and also maybe in the future if it works don't have to pay so much for films maybe yeah so in the cinema and stuff and that'd be interesting yes. okay Mohammed has just joined us I think okay we'll come back to you I just can't hear you uh, at the moment but just check your mic settings okay um, and Nicholas what do you think yeah it's a very good idea for me, it's so you not would so bad. be happy with it, yeah. So, yeah, guys, if you had well. the choice between 
watching two films. One film had no product placement, no digital product placement, but you had to pay for it. And one film, maybe uh, the same film, had so much digital product placement that you actually noticed this. Would you take the free option or would you pay for it? Mm. So Nicholas, yeah, you well, um, well, you know, Silent Hill, the second, uh, the second movie of Silent Hill, had, had a lot of product placement, I guess, and that made it unreal, unrealistic, and it was not good. So, um, yeah, it, it wouldn't be so. Uh, it wouldn't be so much. I, I wouldn't like it to be so with so much product placement, but but it's really good to have this kind of technologies sometimes so, for me. So it'd be okay to um, yeah, half and half. So maybe you pay half price for the cinema to get, but there's halfway there. It's not like it's complete free and stuff. Um, and I think that'd be quite interesting because if they produce the film with this digital product placement. Everyone sees the same thing, whether it's illegally downloaded or, or whatever. But um, Selma, can you hear us? Uh, yes. Good to speak with you again, Selma. Thank you, teacher. Okay, and what do you think of this? Did you follow or did you just join in? Well, actually, I was following uh, uh, the class. Okay, so did mm -hmm. you understand what it is? Yes, I did. Okay, and what do, you, what do you think of it? Yeah, Would you happily watch a film with lots of digital product placement? Well, actually, I don't have any problems with digital, uh, pro digital product placements uh, if they are within the film. So I do prefer to pay f uh, to uh, watch them for free better than paying. Yeah. Be yes. And uh, for the digital product placement, I think that... Uh, it's good for the one who are doing their business because they are gaining uh, more money uh, behind this. But for us as customer, is bad because sometimes you got uh, after your desires and you just go and buy that product. For instance, when you watch the Kardashian movie, you found a lot of uh, perfume brands, and when you go to the store, you pay a lot of expense, a uh, lot of money to buy that kind of perfume but you found that uh, it is not uh, it is not the same as it was shown in the uh, in the movie so, so and point, you got a yeah. lot of yes and you got a lot of uh, maybe different uh, sicknesses sickness like the uh, skin sick uh, skin sickness i think so skin disease maybe skin, skin disease di yes skin, skin disease Maybe skin uh, well, skin disease is a bit serious, yeah. But I don't know, skin irritation or something you could say, maybe. Okay, yeah. that's, that's interesting. Um, so yeah, and it, it, can it, can the adverts or can the product placements really match up, yeah? So uh, or can the products really match up to the adverts? Uh, Marcia, you made an interesting point about the Truman Show, yeah. So we, um, I've I've seen this, but it's years ago now, yeah. So ages ago, um, it's basically this about this man that's living in this kind of world that's televised, right? Yes, a uh, reality show. In the um, um, in uh, every uh, situation, they advertise something like, "Oh, this beer is the best one. Uh, that product is marvelous." It's uh, uh, all uh, in the middle uh, of the show. Uh, it's too much um, offensive. I don't know if you have the, the word, but it's, it's too obvious. It's so obvious, yeah. So it's it's, it's so obvious, I say. So um, the thing is, has anyone else seen this film? Yeah. So again, have you seen this, the Truman Show? Uh, yeah, I tried, really, but I've never finished it. I don't okay, know why. It's maybe because start. of advertisement placement, product placement. There's a lot of it, yeah. So, um, Selma, have you seen this? I've never seen such a series. Or You've never seen the true show. Um, who else has seen no. this film? I saw it. I think. Who was yeah, that? I saw it too. Okay, yeah. So, uh, for those who have seen it, could they explain to those who haven't seen it what kind of show it is? Yeah. So. It, Mar Marcia said, "Yeah, it's a reality show. This guy's living in this real, real world. Uh, who's in it? It's this Jim Carrey. Is it Jim Carrey? Yeah, 
Yeah, Jim Carrey. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I, I think it was a good film, yeah. But what did people think of this film? So who did uh, it? It's really good. It, it was really good, and it was an exception for Jim Carrey to play a character because he always plays a, a comedy, but this time he had to show uh, his other face to us. Uh, so it was really good, and it's a way for me of knowing uh, how how a movie sometimes could be our lives, and how a, perf a performance could be uh, our life uh, with with the others with the others' uh, decisions. Right? They could uh, sometimes we could think that like that, like him, that we are being on a show, you know, because they are always on us, they are always on the stories, and so on, they control everything, right, the, the control, the Producers, power of control. Yeah, so this is control, and it was actually quite thought-provoking, yeah, so you think, actually, is my life like this as well, yeah, or, or something like that, and yeah, it was a very, very interesting film, recommended, but I, I saw it ages ago, yeah, so I need to maybe watch it again. Um, okay, so uh, that's that, so that's an example with uh, product placement. Maybe not digital product placement, but product placement stuff. Um, okay, let's go on with this. Were there any words that you didn't understand, or any new words or expressions in that bit that we read before? Um, trans am. So this is. I'll just show you what this is. One second. Okay, one sec. PST. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, because of the film, because of the car, they sold loads of these toys, yes, and not the real cars, these kind of things, yeah, because as a result of the film, because this was in the film, and people thought, ah, oh, this is really cool, let's buy it uh, for our children, or the children goes, daddy, mommy, I want this, yeah, um, so yeah, this is the thing, so, um, okay, so uh, Pontiac would not have sold nearly as many trans arms if it had not been in da David Hasselhoff's crime-fighting car of choice in the 1980s phenomenon, if that's easy to say, phenomenon, phenomenon, yeah, that's right, is it, phenomenon, yep, do you understand this? Yes. Another word? Legendary, maybe? Legendary, yes, yeah, so amazing, kind of... Extraordinary. Extraordinary, uh, uh, amazing, uh... and Jean, do you say it's similar word? John, uh, astonishing, 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 yeah, things like that. Okay, that's cool. Uh, astonishing, astonishing, right? Astonishing, astonishing. Yep, yeah, perfect. Okay, uh, who would like to read next? Okay, go ahead, me. If you know what it is, please. I thought you were going to say, go ahead, me. I was like, oh, I don't oh. want to hear my voice. Go for it. <laughs> um, recently, Heineken scored a co-op. Uh, co by persuading James Bond to choose its beer over a Boca Martini in Skyfall. However, digital placement is fundamentally different in that the product you see on the screen was never there in the first place. Editors uh, can draw whatever they like, whatever they like, into programs or films during the post production process. Okay, so Heineken, everyone knows this brand, yes? Yeah? So it's a brand of beer, yeah? You know this? Okay, so it's brand brand of beer or something, um, and they somehow persuaded the editors to not um, to not let James Bond drink vodka uh, vodka marti martini, as in shaken, not stirred, and all that stuff, um, but to drink beer. Yeah, did everyone see Skyfall, by the way? No. No. Nicholas hasn't. Evgenia. <laughs> Marcia, have you? No, I'm not nice. able to to see to watch a movie without the uh, subtitle yet. Okay, so. I have the um, the DVD here. I'm coming back to the UK this weekend. So if you want to meet halfway somewhere, that's all right. Okay, so <laughs> Berku, have you seen this? Yeah, I saw the movie, but I can't remember the uh, the scene. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, maybe he was in some exotic place, um, and he was drinking beer. I don't know, getting massaged by some really hot girl. Yeah, that you know the story. Yes, it's always the same. Um, Enrique, did you see this? Did you see Skyfall? Uh, 
Guys, you need to see Skype. What is this? Come on, you're all students. You all learn English, and you haven't watched James Bond. What is this? Come on. You, you, come on. For, for your British English, if nothing else, for your British English, you need to watch Skyfall. Skyfall. <laughs> Marcy, you have no excuse. What is this? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Yasin is, is new. Let's target Yasin. Can you hear us? Yes. Um, nice to meet you, Yasin. Where are you from? I'm from Turkey. Have you seen Skyfall? Your no, next no, answer I, I didn't. determines your fate in this class. Yes, <laughs> have you seen I, Skyfall? I think, it's, I think it's because the new James Bonds are less popular than the oldest. Yes. Yeah, so Pierce Brosnan. Yeah, so the, Daniel Craig is, is popular among certain people. Daniel but, Craig. But it, it's not the same, yeah? So, yeah. The same also that it, it defeats Craig. the object. Um, of having a younger James Bond because actually in this film he looked older, yeah. So they're thinking, well, why don't we have an older one, yeah? So they used Daniel Craig because he looked a bit younger than the other ones originally. But anyway, yeah, that's another another point. Yasin, so welcome, Yasin. We're talking about digital product placement. We're not really talking about Skyfall. But do you understand this, Yasin? Yes. Okay. And what do you think of digital product placement? Uh, I am not sure. <laughs> I no think worries. I think I I don't understand what you are uh, you are talking about exactly. You, I'm sure you're not the only one, yes, and I'm sure you're not the only one. Don't worry. Okay, so um, digital product placement is simply oh, what is it actually? Yes, I've, I've said it so many times. I've forgotten what it is. Marcia, can you explain, please? What you understood? Uh, fact, it pl yeah. place a product pro product in the middle of the a filmy um, uh, soapy to uh, not make a break to make the advertise, but place a uh, subtle in the middle of the story, like the James Bond the be uh, drinking beer. Okay, so that's product can placement. You, can you please someone uh, explain me what's dig digital product uh, placement? Sure, okay, so uh, product placement is what Marcia described as in when there is a product and the editors, the, the film directors make the actors use a particular product uh, because the company pays them for this, yeah? So me, the boss of Coca-Cola, um, goes to the directors of, of I don't know, James Bond movie or, or whatever and says, I'm going to give you three million dollars. Can you make sure James Bond drinks Coca-Cola in a particular Ma scene? Maybe directors go to Coca-Cola and uh, say, yeah, do you want uh, your product to be in our movie? Give us three million dollars. That makes sense, yeah, because otherwise... We need sponsors to need create sponsors. this movie. So oh, I'll hold on, hold on, on, hold on, hold on a second. So I didn't understand what a product, uh, product placement was. <laughs> ah, okay, guys. Okay, so <laughs> I, thought, I, 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 talked, I talked about Silent Hill. I mean, <laughs> what was the link about product yeah, placement? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, yeah, but I was trying to be... Yeah, no, okay, so... Uh, okay. Oh, so sorry, dude, so sorry. You, you should have told me. The thing is, I, I was confused. I didn't actually know what you were referencing, so I didn't want to. Okay, so I was assuming you knew, but okay. So product placement. I am the boss of Mercedes, and I go to I don't know some film and say, uh, well, they, they okay. As what Igor said, they come to me and they say, right, we have a scene where they're driving some supercar in this. We're either going to go with with a BMW, uh, a Ferrari, or Mercedes. Would you like to pay us some money and it will get, we'll guarantee it's going to be a Mercedes? Then people see this really fast um, scene where people are driving very, very quickly. Everything's really cool. And then um, they get money for this and then they sell more Mercedes. Yeah? So it's like a form of advertising. Or, or uh, this is one um, way to do okay. this product placement. Another way is, uh, um, for example, in this way that you said, uh, people will understand that, uh, some people will understand that Mercedes uh, paid money, but another way is uh, that uh, not hero to be with, with Mercedes, but Mercedes to be only on the street. 
So you see in context, you see, for example, uh, people on the, on the street, one Mercedes, but very uh, beautiful Mercedes. Yeah, so you see it just in the setting somewhere, in the scene, yes? So I think I'm sure in Skyfall... In a second scene, for example, not in the... For example, uh, when we can see scene where someone calls someone and you can see the company of carrier of uh, what mobile phone. Um, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so what mobile phone are you using? Um, you keep uh, Adele Skyfall, I'm not sure if this is just a song or if this shows some, some clip. Um, we see how long it is because if it's got some kind of product, oh, oh, gamer, oh, this is in Germany. There's one thing that irritates me, yeah, is that you cannot watch any anything with any music in, on YouTube, yeah, because of some <laughs> legal thing, yeah. So it's always this gamer, whatever it's called, yeah. So um, every time you want to watch a music video or something like this, it's always blocked all the time, even if it contains the music in another video, just the music. It's so irritating. But anyway, okay, so. Um, that, that's that. So, um, okay, so basically we, we like this idea, generally. Let's go on with this a, a little bit more to see if there's anything else we can talk about. Maybe someone uh, didn't understand what is that. Maybe you ask old people. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. sorry. <laughs> you see, now do you understand? Yeah, as I understand, uh, as I understand uh, this digital product is one of the very effective way of Advertising, right? Yes. Yep. Yep. So it's so a way of advertising. So digital product placement, therefore, is not putting the actual Mercedes in the in the scene or in the context in the, in the actual um, whatever. Um, but it's actually maybe editing so that um, on the shop they are advertising. Um, yeah. For Pepsi, yes. So they'll put a Pepsi logo uh, on the shop, whereas so, that wasn't really filmed. So. Uh, you you are taking advantage of uh, popularity of peoples, right? You're taking advantage uh, because basically you watch the film through as the editor and you're thinking, right, where can I add some advert in the scene? Yeah, because when you're there on set, I guess it's quite difficult to think, okay, we'll put a, a, a thing there. But if you watch the film, you can think, ah, oh, there's a bit of space there that's not used. Let's try and squeeze an advert in it. Yeah? Yeah. The, there was a way a poor way to make a product placement. I think it's a product placement here in Argentina. When uh, Pepsi Twist uh, has released, uh, realized, uh, has come up, uh, well, there was, for instance, in a, in a soap, uh, there was the beginning of a scene, and they waited a boy to go with a board saying Pepsi Twist with a smile, and he I came across the, and he walked across the camera and he went away. Yeah, that things like that. Weird. It was so, so bad. So people think, oh, Pepsi Twist, the smiling boy, everything's great, let's buy Pepsi Twist, so, yes? Uh, yeah, it yeah, was a very bad way of making product placement, in my opinion. Yasin, what, what did you say? So it was effectively, it wasn't effective, Nicholas, yeah? So it wasn't related to the context, it was just some random boy with an ad, a board saying buy Pepsi Twist. Exactly. <laughs> cool. Why not? Yeah. Okay. So, Yasin, maybe they should so, do that with verbaling. Yes. <laughs> Get some smiling boy or so, some person to walk in the film with. I don't know. That's cool. Uh, but Yasin, what would you say? So it also contains some uh, subliminal messages, right? Uh, yeah, that's another thing. Subliminal messages, but it's yeah, it technically it is yeah because you're you're not aware maybe it's in your subconscious. So it's, it's very close to subliminal messages, if everyone knows what this is. So, Enrique, do you know what an, a subliminal message, a slub, sub, wait, subliminal message is? Mm, yes, yes. Okay, do you think it's the same? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, does anyone... What is subliminal message? It's a message which you see, it's, it's illegal now, I think, but halfway through the film, they flash a message really quickly in your eyes, but oh, you don't notice it. No, it's not the same. It's uh, 25th cadre, cadre you, you mean? Sorry? 25th cadre. It's the name of his subliminal message, 25th. 25th? Yes. Uh, 25th shot. Yes, 25th yes. 25th shot, yes? So yes. basically they flash a shot really quickly, so quickly that you don't even see, notice it. But the message No, it's not the same. Not the same. I've heard it doesn't work. 
It doesn't work actually, subliminal messaging. Okay, yeah. yes, that's interesting. But now it's illegal, I think. But okay, um, an ultra short time advertising. Yuki should have been in this class because he's the advertising <laughs> manager of a company. Yeah? So Yuki really should have what been. What company? In. I don't know, but um, <laughs> Yuki, right which company? So you do this kind of stuff for a living. Right which company quickly? And what kind of stuff you do? Toyota. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. So you, Yuki, you can tell us the tricks, yeah? So anyway, guys, good to speak with you as ever. Okay? Uh, Martin. Martin. Yes, please. Uh, in the sentence, editors can drop uh, whatever they like. Drop is put to put. Which one? Uh, is 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 the writing class? Is the the next uh, sorry the next uh, sentence? Uh, when say oh editors, editors can drop whatever what? they like yes. into programs yes, program. as in they can. <laughs> Place. to put. Oh, okay, please. Okay. Ma Thanks. Martin, how do you know that Yuki is uh, manager, marketing manager? He told us before, yeah. So. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, Don't okay. To Yuki. Uh, you got no. Anyway, guys, take care. Speak to you soon. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Martin.